In your security solution for retail, we really like the, uh, the newer panoramic cameras. We're getting a lot of positive feedback with those. It's really great that you can have just the one camera that maybe covers a large portion or if it's a smaller retail location, maybe it's one camera that's covered the whole store. You're gonna get that whole 180 degree view, color, color at night, all the motion alerts, all the human detection, it's all built in there. We have two different models and, and really the only difference between the two is the resolution. So there's the IPDF 3062P, which is a six megapixel model, and IPDF 3082P, which is the eight megapixel or 4K model. There's definitely some, some great features built in uh, as far as the AI with human detection and just kind of knowing people are there when they're supposed to be or not supposed to be, uh, being able to get that. We also find that in retail locations, uh, one of the biggest like losses can be staffing. Having too many people when you shouldn't or not enough people when you should. So having a camera that can kind of keep track of how many people are coming in and out of your location. Uh, can really help with setting up that staff and you can see, you know, okay, these are the times where we're super busy. I need two, three, four, however many people. And then these are the times where it's super slow. I don't have to have as many people on the schedule uh, for these particular hours or these days or whatever it is. Definitely the panoramic camera is a great uh, option. It's IPDF 3062P gives you the full range. You can see 180 degrees, get a lot of information with just one camera, one cable run, uh, makes it easier to install. We also have some other cameras like uh, IPDF 6042 or 6082, which is a fully enclosed security dome mounted lower where people might be able to reach it and you don't have to worry about them being able to access it as covered in a protected glass. Best practices, again, with any security system is gonna be, you know, make sure you're changing out that password uh, as soon as you get it out of the box. We're gonna make sure that we're getting it up on our, our network and keeping it secure in that network, whether it's, you know, putting in a, a air gap or changing IP addresses or, or ports. We wanna make sure that we have access to it, but nobody else does. Take a look at just kind of where we're placing our cameras, uh, you know, what's our actual coverage. And then uh, the most important thing is just general maintenance of kind of checking in every once in a while, seeing, you know, hey, are everything up to date? Are the cameras still pointed the way they're supposed to be pointed? There's no dirt or no, uh, maybe a new display that's obstructing the view. We want to be ahead of all those kind of issues so that we're not finding out about that when we're trying to get footage for the insurance company or the police or whatever that we, but we don't have it. As far as placement, we definitely want cameras anywhere where there's going to be money. Uh, so your cash registers or if you have like a counting room, a money room, uh, we definitely want cameras there. If there is a money room, we want them on the door as well as in the room. And then, you know, I always recommend having a camera at the front door, someplace where people are going to see it when they walk in. That helps it become not just a, a tool to gather evidence. If something happens, it's a deterrent to anything happen. Um, you know you're on camera when you walk in. A client who owns a chain of uh, retail stores, uh, like convenient type stores, the liquor stores, and over the last couple of years, we've just been upgrading all of their cameras from like older analog style where they were getting footage where it's like, okay, there's a person here who maybe did something. So now they're getting footage where they're like, okay, this person is this tall, they have this color hair, they're wearing these shoes, and we have all these details. So when things happen, because things always happen, things are always gonna happen, right? Um, so when it happens, we have a lot more detail than what we've had in the past.